Hello, my name is Natalia Supova and it's the time for our English lesson. So, let's talk about food. Because we know if we eat healthy food, we will be healthy. At the previous lesson, we learned uh, a lot of different kind of products. Uh, we put them in food pyramid to know how to eat healthy food, how to uh, get the balanced diet. We made uh, eat an eat well plate um, and uh, we know now uh, what will happen if we don't drink enough water every day. So last lesson we went shopping uh, with the shopping list and um, we read labels of different products and compare which one to choose and also you had your home task let's check it now so your home task was to make to write sentences with words and write them down okay so I give you the uh, the right variants and you will check with your variants, okay? Number one, our teacher wants us to speak English every day. Good. Number two, Helen's dad wanted her to try dumplings last night. Last night, that's why we, that's why we have wanted in the past. By the way, this is a picture of dumplings. Number three, Peter wanted Roy to play football yesterday. It's also in the past, that's why we have wanted. And number four, Jenny wants them to play tennis every afternoon. Good. So, at the last lesson we found out that there are a lot of not good additives in products uh, which we usually buy in supermarket. So that's why we can grow some food in our garden. And this is a story from our friend from Great Britain. Do you remember Sasha? She is telling her story about her garden. So listen to her and watch the video. This is this week's garden update. The seeds have germinated. Look how far they've come. I think we're going to have a lot of strawberries this year. There's loads of little white flowers. We have planted in this vegetable bed a courgette, um, squash, and more courgette. And we have planted fennel, leeks, lettuces, and onions. And these big plants are last year's potato crop. These bean seedlings are really big now, so they're ready to go into the big beds, <laughs> thanks to the better weather. Ready for planting now are tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers and aubergines. What is it, Sasha? To run a bean.
Well done, Sasha. And I want us to look at this slide with some new words maybe you've heard uh, in this video. A plant, a plant, raslina, two plant, sajate raslinu, saditi, okay? To germinate, germinate zbilshvatsi, vrastati, dekilka raz. Crop, vrajai, crop. Garden update, garden update, ze cvija novena sadu. Tak nazivajce Saša na video, this garden update. Garden bed, bed, it's not where you sleep, but where Saša is planting the uh, uh, vegetables, garden bed, gradka, seed, nasinja, sprout, parostok, root, korinja, stem, steblo, and leaf, liste. Your task will be to listen again and uh, say what plants uh, Sasha is planting, is growing in her garden. I will give you some hint. There are some of them. For example, she is, she is planting a fennel, fennel, squash, harpoos, cujet, kabachok, and leek, cebula pore. She is planting, they are in Sasha's garden. So, but you listen to this story again and write down the names of vegetables that Sasha is planting. This is this week's garden update. The seeds have germinated. Look how far they've come. I think we're going to have a lot of strawberries this year. There's loads of little white flowers. We have planted in this vegetable bed a courgette, um, squash, and more courgette. And we have planted fennel, leeks, lettuces, and onions. And these big plants are last year's potato crop. These bean seedlings are really big now, so they're ready to go into the big beds, <laughs> thanks to the better weather. Ready for planting now are tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers and aubergines. What is it, Sasha? To run a bean. Such a beautiful garden Sasha has. So let's look at these pictures and maybe they will help you to have your own garden. Uh, these are different steps of planting lettuce, but they are mixed up. Let me read it for you and then you should put, it, put them in the right order. D. The plant grows and begins to shoot leaves. Vipuskati listia, shoot leaves. And harvest 
the lettuce. Harvest the lettuce, urajai salato. R. The seeds begin to sprout and grow. From the seeds, it be, seeds beca is becoming a sprout. E. Further leaves develop on the plant and form a lettuce. Listia formuyut uje vegetables, lettuce. A. Using a water can, water the seed, seeds. Water the seeds, okay. And G. Plant the seeds into some soil. Soil, se zemlya. Okay? So, I give you some time and you should put them in the right order and we will see what we will we have. If we put them in the right order, we will have garden. Excellent. garden. Next task is to complete the text with following words. Heart, homemade, ingredients, source, fresh, ready-made, vitamins and additives. Okay, I will read text for you and you will fill in the blanks. Last week, uh, by the way, this is a story about the cooking experience, good cooking experience of one girl. Last week, I cooked dinner for my family. I went to the supermarket and bought all the, yes, ingredients. You can buy meals at the supermarket, what kind of meals? You can buy some kind of meals in the supermarket, but they often have a lot of sugar and in them. What do you think she's talking about? About ready-made, okay, and they often have a lot of sugar and additives, additives, domyszki, in them. Next, I wanted to cook healthy dish, so I bought lots of vegetables. What kind of vegetables did she buy? Yes, fresh vegetables, fresh vegetables. They have lots of, so they are very good for you. What do they have? Lots of, yes, vitamins. I got some brown eyes, uh, rice, because that's a good hmm, of whole grains. It's a good source of whole grains, which are good for your heart. Yes, remember, whole grains are good for your heart. I wanted it to be a special dinner. So we had a, what kind of cake they have, the, rest, the, the last one? A homemade cake, yes, homemade cake, too. My mom and dad said my cake was delicious. Yes, good job. Okay, and this is another story. It calls Pizza Problems. I will read it for you and you will give me your opinion. Why it's, uh, the name of this text is Pizza Problems, the title of this uh, text is Pizza Problems. Okay, if you are a terrible cook, you will love this story. Last month, my mom bought me a recipe book. The recipes looked easy, so I decided to make pizza for dinner one evening. I bought the ingredients and then I started to make the bread for the pizza. I mixed flour, salt and water in a bowl. 
I was listening to music on the radio. It was very loud, so I didn't hear my brother come into the kitchen. He shouted my name and scared me. I dropped the ball, bowl. The floor and the water went all over the table, the floor and my trousers. Luckily, my family thought my cooking disaster was very funny. We went to a pizza restaurant for dinner. I haven't cooked again since then. If I cook again, I won't listen to music in the kitchen. Okay? And now you can see that this is a story about bad experience in cooking. And that's why the, the title is Pizza Problems. So, and now, answer my question. What did Tina want to make? What did Tina want to make? Yes, you can see that she wanted to make pizza because she thought it's very easy. Yes, and why didn't Tina hear her brother come into the kitchen? Why she didn't hear? Why? Yes, because she was listening to music and the music was very loud. The music was very loud. Okay, this kind of text uh, is a personal account which we can write in internet about some interesting story. And in the end of uh, this text uh, can be different endings, uh, like the first one is how people felt. Luckily, my family thought my cooking disaster was very funny. Or, and what happened in the end? Just uh, to tell what happened, we went to a pizza restaurant for dinner and some comments about what happened and uh, what the writer has learned after this story. I haven't cooked again since then, and if I cook again, I won't listen to music in the kitchen. So this is comment. And the task is, now let's match the endings and the type of endings. How people felt, what happened in the end, and the comments on the story. The comments on the story. The first line is, if I decide to surprise my mom again, I'll make a card. It's a lot safer. Number two, I bought mom a birthday cake from the bakery and we all enjoyed her birthday party. And the third one, my mom laughed when she heard about my adventures in the kitchen, but I felt very silly. So, match these three lines. Okay, I give you some time and... The matching will be like this. Okay. If I decide to surprise mom again, I make the card. It's a comments on the story. I bought my mom cake. It's the, just what happened in the end. And uh, I felt very silly. It's what, uh, how people felt about what's happened. So, and now we are very close to cooking something, but we need to know some, uh, ver uh, some wor words about this, about cooking. So I have some pictures which are describing actions in the kitchen and uh, some words about describing this picture. And you should match them, chop, bake, peel, fry, slice, beat and boil. So match them and... We will have 
like this. This is beating uh, the eggs, boiling, peeling, chop when we cut something, slice when we cut in, into slices, fry and bake. So, but it's not the end. We should put them in the right order to have a recipe, yeah? So, the task is you should put them in the right order to cook a Spanish omelette, okay? I give you some time and uh, put them in right order. What we will have? Yes. Number one, we should peel the potato. Number two, boil. Three, boil potato, then three, chop the onion. Slice tomatoes. Beat eggs. And fry or bake omelette. Yes, this is actually, we have the recipe with ingredients and instruction or method how to do it. So, for Spanish omelet, we need four eggs, four potatoes, one onion, two tomatoes, four tablespoons of oil, oil and some salt for two people, two servings. Method. Now put uh, the words in in the, into the blanks, and you have already know this word. First, what we do the first? Yes, we peel the potatoes, then put them in a pan and boil them for five minutes. Next, chop the onion and slice tomatoes, and the potatoes uh, uh, into, into even pieces. Even pieces, rivni taki kusochki, da? Now, Beat egg, the eggs and add a little salt. Mix everything together in a bowl, then fry the mixture in a pan with some oil until cooked on both sides. Alternatively, you can bake in the oven. So, this is the end of our lesson. You can use this recipe to cook Spanish omelette at home. And also there is a home task for you. The first one, you should make a list what plants is Sasha growing in her garden and use this story, but create your own ending of this story about pizza problems. So, Thank you very much and stay healthy and happy.